welcome back to another vlog. This is going to be kind of a week, another like week in my life vlog, but this is going to be like th the days are shifted a little bit. So today's Sunday and I'm picking it up now. And then I will show you guys through Thursday because Thursday afternoon, we're going somewhere kind of fun for just a little like weekend getaway. I'm about to make breakfast and we're going to get ready to go to the farmer's market and stuff. But I came down and <laughs> so Matt's nice enough that like after dinner every night, I'm just kind of like wrecked right now and I need to go like lay down. And so Matt will like make my tea for me and my magnesium. And this is the one I use. I use the Moon Juice um, Magnesium. And yesterday I just ran out of this flavor. This is the Blue Lemon. And I had a refill bag of this flavor, which is the berry one. And I come down this morning and the blue jar is full and the berry jar is empty. <laughs> and I asked Matt if he put, do you want to explain yourself? Yes. <laughs> so basic, basically Matt put, uh, and I don't care. I like, I don't really have a preference. It just cracks no, me let up. Me, let me explain. Well, so I didn't even finish saying what happened. Basically I came down and Matt had refilled the bl the lemon jar with the berry flavor and i asked him <laughs> if it was on purpose and he said sorta i can explain so there was still like little remnants of it there before i tried to wash it then the jar was just soaking wet uh, and they were still stuck there okay. i couldn't just leave an open bag so i put it in the other one i have my reason oh my god don't break it no <laughs> We're off to a really good start this morning. I mean, I am. I'm having a pretty good morning. So basically, I'm going to make breakfast. Just like, I'm just going to have a little bit of eggs and then get my weekly vegan chocolate croissant at the farmer's market. I can cook a lot of things. I cannot cook eggs for the life of me. Farmer's market treats secured. These are huge this week. Oh my god. It's like as big as my head. There's always a little bit of um, icing on there. Yeah, I wonder why, because it's on every single one of them. It's not just like mm. you get lucky and it's one. It's all of them. I'm wondering if it's like a way she can tell what type it is. Hmm. Oh my god, so many crumbs. <laughs> what are we doing the rest of the day? Um, two more grocery stores. Stop at home first so she can pee. Yeah, he can pee. I would have held it. She, <laughs> she would not have. But you said you had to go. Um, then I'm going to edit some videos. And then we're going to make some Persian food tonight for the Persian New Year. Yeah, the Persian New Year was earlier this week. I don't remember. Earlier it was last like week. Tuesday. We make Persian food every week anyway. But we're doing like a little bit extra than we normally do. We're trying for the first time making. There's these kebabs that we'll make with impossible meat. And. Traditionally, it's most of the time like beef or lamb, um, but we're going to try with ground chicken today. So we're making kebabs. We're making my favorite yogurt dip in the world, which when I figured out how to make it, I was so happy. Like dairy free. I was so happy. So we'll make that. And then our teddy and some roasted veggies. And we got to clean up a little bit. Yeah. Break. There you go. So we just were in Trader Joe's and... This like equally made my day and embarrassed me <laughs> at the same time. We are both very introverted people. We do very. not like attention at all. No. And you know, I'm just walking around and obviously my jeans are unzipped because no pants fit me. And this lady yells at me so loud <laughs> and just goes, you look beautiful. <laughs> and I was like, thank you. But it was so, and then he, then she like looked at Matt and was like, like, you need to remind her that she looks beautiful. I don't, I don't know how to respond to that. 
And it was like so nice, but it was so loud and I like panicked. I was like, thank you. But we were talking about this the other day. I feel like it's because we live in LA and people just like, not that people aren't nice, but people just like don't Comments. make, like don't talk to other people. Like I feel like if we were like back in Georgia, this may have happened more. But, like, I've now gotten, in my entire pregnancy, three comments from strangers. Like, one was at the gym, and it wasn't even, like, super random. I was, like, in the way of some guy. And I was like, oh, sorry. And then he was just like, oh, working out for two. Then one was in the Whole Foods elevator yesterday or two days ago. Two days ago. And she was just like, oh, when are you due? And then this was this one. But, like, I was a lot more worried that I was just going to constantly have people, like, coming up to me and like talking to me about being pregnant but like I said very very nice but also very alarming just got back from doing all of our grocery shopping so I'll give you guys a little run whoa, a little rundown of everything we got so we like to keep these stocked just like as a last minute dinner or something if you haven't had this before I highly recommend Lara bars just to keep stocked as a quick snack and then our farmer's market stuff from this week was these strawberries, which we tasted and were so good. Then some rainbow cauliflower for our Persian food tonight. Um, don't know what kind of oranges these are, but also taste them. They're amazing. A couple pink lady apples and cucumbers. Then, let's see. This is the tea that I drink twice a day to try to help with swelling. Um, zucchini, this is Matt's vegetable of choice. Then tofu, because we're gonna do like little tofu, roasted tofu bowls. This with some couscous and roasted veggies um, and some vegan uh, feta crumbled on top. G sushi, just for a snack today. And then this is the chicken that we got to use tonight for our kebabs. What else? We'll roast radishes with the kebabs and then these two were definitely like immediate pregnancy craving. I was just like, oh my God, coconut and pineapple, yes please. Then this is the Greek yogurt I use for the um, yogurt dip. It's called Moss Nusir. And then I think I've talked about these frozen chicken nuggets before. They're like uncooked and just pieces of chicken breast. They're not ground up, so there's no like filler. That's pretty much like the highlights of the groceries for this week. So we're gonna go put these away and I think do a little bit of a cleanup and just kind of hang out for a while until we gotta start doing like some of the food stuff. And now I'm just going to eat a snack of an entire bowl of baby carrots. that getting upstairs we open the box and bring it up piece by piece oh okay it's a big one we got our dresser dresser changing table for the nursery i think we're gonna put it together tomorrow yeah so it's been a minute and i'm just like chilling and i realize i do this frequently i don't know if this is a me thing i don't know if this is like universal but I frequently take like no nap naps and especially in pregnancy because here's my thing. I'm so tired, but I'm so afraid of not sleeping well at night that I like won't let myself fall asleep a lot of times. So I'm like just laying on the couch, like fully like real pillow, fully tucked in. It's like a mental nap. Like it's just, some could call it resting. But it's like when I get up from this state, I feel like I took a nap. Okay.
we've chatted. It's now Monday. I just got back from the gym and I'm going to attempt to make my favorite post-workout snack, which is rice cakes with peanut butter mixed with chocolate protein powder and then an apple on top. But like, this is all the peanut butter I have left. And normally I make two rice cakes. So I think I'm gonna do one like peanut butter and jelly with just like a, a drizzle of jelly, or I mean a drizzle of peanut butter and hope for the best. Some exciting news, at least for me, is I think I showed this, but our changing table got delivered for our nursery. Because we're moving, we're not really like decorating a ton in the nursery, but we still did want it to feel special. So once the changing table is there, the only thing we have to do left is order some pictures that we want to hang up and then her nursery is done which is really exciting and then of course like in a few months we just have to take it all apart and move it but that's fine it's fine did i say this i already worked out working out is getting it's just getting so hard but i'm i'm happy that i'm doing it and i'm pushing through and i definitely feel better when i do it but getting through the workout is like so tough Oh my gosh, there's no peanut butter left. I just posted about this in a shorter video. I think I'm kind of over it now, but I was having like an existential crisis about naming our daughter because I love the name that we have picked out, but we have decided to not share the name until she gets here. One, because we don't want opinions, not even like good or bad, or not even because I think people won't like it, because it's really like not, it's not super controversial, like it's not like, a, it's not like a weird name, but oh no, that was too much protein powder. So part of it's because we just don't want opinions, part of it is because I cannot commit to a name. And I had this revelation the other day that the reason I can't commit to a name even though I love the name we have picked out is because I wish it was meaningful. Like we don't have like, I feel like everybody talks about like how they have, like they, they're naming their baby after someone or there's like some beautiful special story around like the name that they picked. And her middle name is meaningful because her middle name is my maiden name. But I just cannot come up with a meaningful first name. And I think that's totally fine. But because it was so hard for us to get pregnant, I just feel like we should have more meaningful name. I think I'm mostly over it now, but I'm really curious if you are a parent or a soon to be parent, did your babies have meaningful first names? Or was it just names that you liked? Very, very curious. It's also like not up for that much debate because we literally have one name and one second choice name. Like unless a name comes to us out of the blue, there's no like backup option. Oh man, I normally do maple syrup in a while. I definitely think the peanut butter and jelly one probably will end up needing more jelly, or I mean, will have needed more peanut butter. This looks pretty good. Dropping things in pregnancy makes me so angry. It is such a struggle to pick it up. So here is the snack. This jelly, by the way, I have it on my website. I have a food blog, if you guys didn't know, which you probably don't. It's a chia jam, and I just made it with strawberry. Uh, it's just strawberry chia jam. So there is my snack. Now I'm gonna go eat my snack and then edit for a little bit until Matt is ready to put together the dresser.
last year got a creamy. I was using it really regu regularly for a while and I kind of forgot about it. I, one of my favorite ice cream flavors is Cherry Garcia by Ben & Jerry's, but it has just like a smidge or a lot, too much sugar for me. And they do, even though they do make a non-dairy. And so I just made a like non-dairy, very minimal refined sugar. Like the only re refined sugar in it is some of the chocolate chips. Um, Cherry Garcia Creamy. And this might be the best consistency creamy I have ever made. Like perfect ice cream consistency. I'm so happy. I was just taking another um, no nap nap, like fighting to keep my eyes open. And I thought I could nap or I could have some ice cream. So, went with ice cream. afternoon this morning matt and i went on a little walk we never really realize how many things we have right around us and this cute little coffee shop record store thing popped up on tiktok the other day so we took a little stroll over there and it was so cute it was like tiny tiny coffee shop like all they had was espresso drinks and turkish coffee but it was all vintage records and like when you're in there you can pick whatever record you want to play and like if you buy a record you get a free coffee or if you buy 10 coffees you get a free record so it's just a cute little neighborhood coffee shop which was fun and then there's a spot that we've been meaning to go to for literally three years fun fact before we moved to where we live now we literally lived one street over and our real estate agent gave us a gift card to this coffee shop that is on the same street as what we used to live on and we just like literally have never made it over there. So then we walked over there so I could get a matcha. That was a fun little excursion that we went on. It was kind of unexpected. Just nice to get some fresh air. And then came back and I just showered. I think I'm gonna eat some lunch now. I have a kid this afternoon that I'm gonna go see. And then I think that's kind of it for the day. We did start the dresser yesterday, but it was a lot more involved than anticipated so maybe i'll see if matt can help me build more of it later when i get back about the lighting the sun is literally directly on my face and blinding me what i don't even know what date it is. it's wednesday just got to pilates hoping for a less eventful class this week then i'm gonna go home i need to put away laundry and i need to start packing because like i said we're going on a little trip this weekend just like two nights then i have a meeting later and a kid later after that and that's basically it for the day that was like a really speedy rundown of the day but i don't know when the next time i'll talk to you guys is so that's a rundown for today and then tomorrow i have my 32 week appointment and my camera's about to die um and then we're leaving for straight from the appointment to go i apologize for the abrupt stop in my sentence earlier my camera just died so i got home and what did i do and i started to pack but honestly i mean i i packed but guys getting dressed in pregnancy is so hard and i can i can talk for hours and hours and hours about this there's you know, obvious changes that happen to your body, but then there's like less obvious changes. Like currently I'm having like so much swelling and puffiness and I was maintaining it 
I'm managing it really well for a couple weeks and I'm doing all the same things, but I think just where I'm at in my pregnancy, it's increasing a lot. So I had a, I actually handled it really well, but I, I have talked about this before. I, th there's a lot of, there's a lot of meltdowns that happen when I'm getting dressed or picking out clothes these days, but I didn't have any, I didn't have any meltdowns or breakdowns. I just was really struggling to pick out clothes, but I did manage to pick out a few things, get packed, and then now, as you can see, I am at work. Well, I don't think I've said this on here, but I'm a pediatric occupational therapist, so I have one kiddo coming to play and then eat dinner, and again, yeah, tomorrow, um, I think I started to say this and I cut myself off with the dying camera, but 32 week appointment tomorrow morning. Then we're basically gonna run home, grab our stuff and head out. So I will probably talk to you after the doctor tomorrow. Seems like I can't have like a normal week these days, so. Turns out I did not have my 32 week appointment today. I had it yesterday and I missed it, which is like very, very uncharacteristic for me. Like I, I had it in my calendar. I think it was a mix up on their end, but anyway, so we did not go to the doctor today. But with that being said, seems like an appropriate time to end this vlog. So I will see you when we're on our little weekend getaway. If you guys like this vlog, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And also, I do want to film a Q&A soon. I had mentioned this before. Um, I'm thinking about either doing my infertility story or just like a general Q&A. So definitely let me know and leave a comment with any questions you have. See you guys next time.